ready? Yeah. 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 You sure? Yeah. Everything. Ranger. Anna. Anna. Me. Her. Me. Holland. Holland. She bugs to see. And Mama. Oh, hi. It's been a while. I got my hair cut. It's she been got a while. her hair cut. Really? And she Yay. just started going to school for real instead of online. So she's doing that. <laughs> Figure it's time for another Universal Yum. She does need her own chair. Uh, yeah. Well, he already needs their own chair. Junebug. Junebug needs her own chair. Well, are you going to be on the frame now? Uh huh. Grandma left. I don't know if you are or not. Sure. You don't even know that. Like, the whole video is going to be like half of you. That's what's going to happen. Same Everybody, that's <laughs> Kentucky Ranger. Anna. Anna. Me. Hello. Me. Jeopardy person. Jeopardy person. Sissy. What? And Mama. Jimbo. And Jimbo. Jimbo. <laughs> Can't leave out Jimbo. Jimbo. We tried to get her on here, but she did not want to sit there. Yeah. yeah. Anyhow, it's been a minute or two. All this COVID stuff going on and her doing her thesis and everything. We can't hardly get together My anymore. School. Her school. Your school. Everything going on. 74 hours. Huh? That's 74 hours. 74 hours? Yes. For um, what? School. You have to do like 74 hours of in-person school a week? Yes. Oh, okay. I don't know. It's crazy. I seen the sign out in front of the school said Tuesday through Thursday or something. I don't yes. know. Yes. Yeah, crazy. it's crazy out crazy. there. It's so crazy. crazy. Anyhow, another Universal Yum. Yeah, yeah. This time, home of the original Memphis. It's Memphis. Home of the original Memphis. Memphis. I got you a really good guess. The other ones either Hawaii or Memphis, Australia. Tennessee. <laughs> no, the original Memphis. I'm gonna guess Egypt. Yeah, it's Egypt, 100. Yeah. percent Yeah, it's Egypt. And it wasn't Memphis. That's where the actual, like, the Valley of the Kings and stuff. I don't know. Probably. Something. There was some significant there. It's Egypt. Uh, it's I think it's Egypt. You can already tell. Yeah, because the, you know. I mean, look at them. Yeah. The pyramids you can see. see. They look like the. Yeah, there's no denying that there's something going on there. Yeah. Walking like an Egyptian. Drum roll. Oh, Gee, look at there. Surprises, surprises. It's so surprising. It is Egypt. I feel like it's probably going to be cheese. I see pretzels. And as always, they got the games and different I do things. See. That's one thing I like about Universal Yum's I over Snack Great is they got more oh. family participation. Look. Than, uh, there's a cat in a Yum box. Oh. Look. Oh, it's a customer <laughs> highlight. Oh, oh isn't that cute? Little kitty cat. <laughs> See the kitty? <laughs> well, that's not a cat. That's that wasn't a, a cat. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, that's cute. You should probably like submit a picture of Lily. Fact so. one: Ancient Egyptians adored cats. Ancient. Yeah, that's true. Fact two: put in a, You should put in this a month is perfect occasion to highlight a furry feline friend. Meow. Hello. To Siesta from Fastin. Her owners, Mac. Krista. I've been loving Yum since December. Wow. Siesta has been loving the empty boxes. What is it about cats and boxes? Yeah. Um, my cats. It doesn't matter how big or small. In fact, I think they like smaller boxes. My cat boxes. loves bags. 
Bags? Yeah, that's another thing. It's bags. I and he had a hated cute. bags. My cat, or my <laughs> friend's cats would always open a hole in the bread bag, so we had to keep it locked up. Mm. Or, or there would be a hole in it, and some of the bread would be gone. It, would, it was just... do this that cut the finger off. Careful. Well, I do that so that I can put the box down and... You're going to cut your finger off one of these days, or you're going to cut me mm. and suck. Yeah, just you cut your head off. I'm dead. Slice, slice, cut your head. You need an exacto knife. See that one? Oh, that's even worse. Show, show me. Well, then, it, but it would be a cleaner cut. Like, you might not feel the need to jerk around so much. There. Anyhow. See, this is for that folks at home. That looks like pretzels. It, yes, it does. Pretzo. It says pretzo. Oh, it's so cute. It's, okay. It's a fluffy kitty. Okay, trivia. All right. Trivia. Y'all yes. gonna flip back and forth? Do you want to flip I back? Like, for, yeah. I okay. like that. Go first. You're number one. How much of how much of Egypt's is how much of Egypt is desert? Desert. Desert. Sixty. I go with seventy-five. It's forty-five percent. 60 percent, 75 percent, or 90 percent? A 45 percent. 60 percent. I would go like uh, six, maybe just, 60. Yeah, that's kind of an odd one. Yeah. Yeah. So, what was that one before the last one? I 75. I'm going to go with 75. Yeah. 60. But also, like, they could have a lot more greenery. Because there's a lot of jungle and stuff. Man. Yeah. But, I mean, there, I mean you think it's media the Sahara portrayal. The Sahara Desert and all that stuff, but Egypt, there's a lot of... Yeah, there's a lot of jungle stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah. shoot, it's D, 90%. Wow. It is. Shoot, I said 90 at first, and I thought, no, it could be 90. That's um, practically so all. Then I guess it is a desert. I well, I just so proved me wrong. Okay. Me and Shabir are close. Just take off of there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it says, believe it or not, a whopping 90% of Egypt is desert. Fortunately, the Nile River provides the water necessary to support civilization. That explains why the Nile River Valley, despite only comprising 5% of Egypt's land, houses 99% of the country's population. Huh. Well, okay. Number two. Which of these landmarks was meant to stand in Egypt? The Statue of Liberty, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the Washington Monument and the Eiffel Tower. Hmm. Okay, I'm I'm probably actually gonna say the Washington Monument because it's like an obelisk, and I'm pretty sure that they have a bunch of those in Egypt. I don't say the Tower of Pisa. That was also yeah. another guess. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. I'm, go I'm pretty sure obelisk Washington is the word I'm Washington Monument. Yeah. I think obelisk. I'm gonna go with the same thing you said. Well, that's why they. Washington Monument looks like either. that is because the whole Shriner Illuminati and all that. I either go with the um, Leaning Tower of Pisa or All of the Above. There wasn't. <laughs> there was no All of the Above. But there is not an All of the Above option. Mm -hmm. Number two is. They're not Shriners. Not, uh, it's other with the Tornal Order of. Uh, Police? <laughs> no. Well, my brain just completely uh, went blank. I have no idea. Um, a few moments later. Not Shriners, but the other ones with the rings and the eternal order with the Masons. Masons, Jesus! I thought Shriners were Masons. Well, they, most of them are, but still. I thought my brain well, you have ain't to be working. A Mason to be a yeah, I thought you had to be Mason to be a Shriner. I don't know. I know. Yeah, but a Shriner's not a Mason. Go They're figure. not. No, well, either they're two order. separate. But I didn't know you had to be a Mason to be a Shriner. That's what yeah. I heard. You, you do. That's what I heard. Okay, the Shriners are well, higher. Okay. Anyway, <coughs> Masons. It, Allergies. It, it, it's all a, 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 a thing attached to this know. Egypt the, and all the okay, see, war, I had no war and yeah. The I, little hat. It makes sense. It's the little hat. Okay, it's the, the little, little hat. hat. Give it away. And the and the uh, the scimitar. What I think is the yeah. name of the curvy sword. What's a little hat? They're little hats that little they carry the little. <laughs> Tassel on it, and they got the scimitar or scimitar. We're, so, we're you say sorry, it. Freemasons. We're not making fun. I'm just please saying. Don't, please don't. Like it makes sense. Or anything. My cousin was a mason. Anyhow, no, no, we, so what it was, was a the Shriner, answer? But it started out. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna be here for an hour. Okay. It okay. The answer number two is actually the Statue of Liberty. Oh wow. wow. All that. 
All that discussion Statue for nothing. It says, you may know the Statue of Liberty. I thought that was in New York. It is. It, is. it was given to the U.S. by Frenchman Frederick Barfaldi. Yeah. I know come from Brian. Hold on, y'all. Hush, I'm reading this. Liberty, but did you know... Liberty. Liberty. Okay. But did you know he originally designed the statue as an Arab woman for Egypt's Suez Canal? Egypt's Suez. Ruler, Suez. Oh, it looks like Suez. <laughs> Egypt's ruler rejected the expensive design, so Bartholdi repurposed it for the U.S. Because rightly they should. Yeah. I mean, now What's we got a statue in All right, number three. <laughs> hey, it's your turn. Oh. Yeah. You're on a break. Enough dabbing. Let's ask him. Which of following was discovered in the Egyptian pyramid? A. Dental floss. B. The world's oldest cinnamon. Mm hmm. C. A. Hieroglyph. A hieroglyph yes, of an alien. D. The world's oldest money. Honey. 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 I'm going to say. I'm going to go with the cinnamon. Honey. Uh, it's, oh, it's honey. I'm going to go with all of them. I'm going to go with the. <laughs> Actually, it is, yeah, with the aliens and all that stuff. Well, I think it, it might be cinnamon because, like, weren't they into spices and stuff? And, yeah. like, so. But I remember seeing a documentary they found honey in it. It was still good after. Is cinnamon? What, 8,000 years? Uh, <laughs> okay, it is deep. It's deep. It was the honey. honey. I think they yeah, also found beer. Yeah. And they could take, like, uh, what do they call it? They back. <laughs> Reverse engineered it, and the, some company makes it now. It? It's actually beer not from the them. What the heck? I don't know. Huh. All right. Ever wanted to eat 3,000-year-old honey? Probably not. But what if we told you it was still totally edible? Yeah. In 2015, hey. archaeologists... 3,000-year-old peanuts. Hold on. I still... Hold just a second. Ew, that's an old peanut. Archaeologists excavating the pyramids were shocked to find perfectly preserved honey. Like us, the ancient Egyptians used it as a sweetener, but they also gave it as a gift to the gods and sometimes used it to make embalming fluid. Oh. Yeah, that, the this whole embalming thing is really crazy. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Okay. All righty. Number four. The workers who built the pyramids were given daily rations of corn, salt, beer, or apples. Beer. I know this one. I mean... I'm going with beer. Well, because, like, wasn't wheat their main thing? And, like, is that not what no, beer is made out of or it something? Because water had diseases and stuff. True. So yeah. That's why they did the they fermented, they drank beer and wine. Yeah. Because, like, you Plus, would die. hey, what's, what's better at the end of a work day than a room temperature beer? <laughs> hmm. Not unless you're dehydrated. That'd be pretty bad. <laughs> oh, have you drank beer when you're thirsty? Yes, I tried. Yeah, I can't do it. I got sick. <laughs> it, it, would be salt. it really does. No. I was out in the desert when that happened. I demanded to be drove to town so I could Dude. give me a Gatorade. Ugh. Wow. Well, that's that's better. Gatorade is good for you in desert things. Yeah. Okay, it is beer. Every day, okay. the workers who built the pyramids were given over a gallon of beer. Oh, wow. They drank it from giant communal jugs using straws made from reeds. Enjoying beer wasn't limited to the living either. Mummies were often buried with it as Egyptians believed their dearly departed would enjoy it in the afterlife. Wasn't that nice? Oh. All right, number five. Oh, you got a big one. Oh, wow, I did. Which of these actions are planned to, rele to relieve mm -hmm. traffic congestion? In Cairo. Cairo. A. A new traffic built nearby. A, a new capital. capital will be will be built nearby. I was. I don't know where I got traffic. It's a. Oh, yeah, right, you right. went like right there. Yeah. A new A. A new capital will be will be built nearby. Mm -hmm. B. <laughs> the number of cars will be limited. C. All citizens will get a free bike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's your new bike. Make sure you ride it. Don't, don't drive your car anymore. Anyone who moves out. So five grand yeah. given to anyone who moves out. Wow. 
I'd, I'd say uh, uh, they limited the cars. Honestly, I think that they might limit the cars. Yeah. I mean, that's what they that's already do. Case. Or give out bikes. It's either that or giving out bikes. You see the way they drive over there? <laughs> Isn't it just like a whole? Oh, just everywhere. Bike. It's crazy. Yeah. It's just crazy. Just it's chaos. Crazy. It's like, money. Like, okay. Yeah, and they're all rich, so they're all crazy with like hundred thousand dollar sports cars and stuff. <laughs> like, like. Oh, um, check it out on YouTube. Some of the what, crazy like in hyper sports and stuff. Like, <laughs> they're just rich people. They're all rich. <laughs> yeah. Don't I have like? I mean, I don't know if it was true or not. But don't some have like tigers and stuff? Like, can they mm. do that over there? Yeah, it's nutty. It's crazy. Oh, I love crazy. It. It's just crazy. They have those naked Craziness. cats over there. Joe like Exotics. Uh, okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah, hold on. That was number five. Okay. It's A. A new capital will be built nearby. Wow. In 2015, the Egyptian oh, government you began construction on a new capital located 30 miles east of Cairo, which will house the country's governmental bodies. Its population will likely be around six and a half million people, in contrast to the whopping 20 and a half million people that make up Cairo's cramped metropolitan area today. Wow. Ugh. That's a lot of people. Yeah, that's gross. Okay. All right, number six, which is an Egyptian invention? Eye makeup, breath mints, bowling, toothpaste. Eye makeup. I think it's the makeup. I, I, yeah. make I think it's the eye I'm makeup. Go off on a and say bowling. <laughs> That's probably the one thing. Okay. I don't know. Who knows? Okay, hold on. Number. It's all of the above. That wasn't an option. That wasn't an option. That yeah. was I, not. That's that garbage. Oh, you can get made up. And go bowling. Yeah. yeah. All of the above. Yeah, we got makeup and bowling, but it was. Men same toothpaste as well. Minerals were ground to make the world's first eye makeup, worn by men and women. Tree resin, honey, and cinnamon were used to make the first breath mints. Wow. Porcelain balls and alabaster vases were used in the first version of bowling. Hmm. And mint, iris flower, and pepper made the first toothpaste. Pepper. Pepper toothpaste. Who it? I thought it was mint. Not Pepper. I mean, it had oh, mint, no, no, Irish flour, and pepper. Okay. All right, you get number seven. Hmm. Which of the following Egyptian culinary culinary tradition? A. Salty dried locusts. <laughs> A. B. B. Rancid mullet fish. What the heck? Uh. C. Sandy. Pita bread. I think it's pita. Yeah. Pita, pita bread. Pita, pita bread, the YouTuber. Okay. I, I said pita bread. And then well, number four. Pie. <laughs> that yeah, is PewDiePie. bread. Pewdie. What kind of bread does PewDiePie eat? Pita bread. Pita bread. <laughs> D. Smoke papyrus. Papyrus. Mm. Smoke papyrus. <gasps> why, why would you eat that? These are I, culinary culinary traditions. I'm gonna papyrus, say the dried locust. Right yeah. yeah, that's what like they made paper, their paper out of. I mean, unless for some the reason they, I'm gonna say the locust too. I think they paper out of trees. So well, over there, locust. Didn't y'all eat them? We ate some crickets. <laughs> that was a long time <laughs> wow. ago. I crickets? didn't. I wouldn't she eat. didn't, but I didn't know her. I would eat some crickets. Okay, number seven. Is B rancid mullet fish? Oh, no. that just does sound not crazy. sound good. Hold up. Yeah. Okay. It's like the Swiss that yeah. eat that. Oh, what is it? Oh, it fish in a can. Yeah. It's nasty. From, if you're watching, I can't remember it, what uh, it's called. I'll look it up. Yeah, look it up. I have a picture of it, but it's Ugh. it's like a, it's in a can. They, but it's it's rotten, <laughs> and they eat it. They love it, but it's. <laughs> well, Italy, I'm pretty sure it's, it's Italy. Okay. They've got it's maggot made cheese. Made of yeah, it's maggot cheese. cheese. Yeah, it's cheese It's with illegal, in it. but they keep, yeah. And But the maggots have to be alive, though, or it's not good. Yeah. Oh, my. I can't oh, think yeah. of what they call it. I'll have a I forget. I, there's there's, no there's a name but for it. Put that story in the yes, sign. Okay, all right, hold on. Let's figure out what this is. Yeah. An Egyptian dish made of rotting fish called fasik, I guess is a local staple. It's been tradition ever since the time of pharaohs after rotten fish were left behind when the water level of the Nile receded in the spring. Nowadays, it's a dish best ordered from the pros. Prepared incorrectly, physique can result in violent food poisoning. 
Yeah, we think we'll stick Even to the yarns. That's nasty. Yuck. That's just nasty. Like, nah. I. They got rotten yeah. fish in that box. They better not. I hope not, not too. <laughs> no. Yeah. All right, we ain't gonna what. Okay. Fish. Uh, last no. question. Yeah. We got the last question. Last question. It's local tradition for guests in Egyptian households to knock three times before entering, kiss the host on the chin, finish any juice they've been offered, or bring casserole as a gift. Not three, three times. Not three, three, three times. Not three times or either. I mean, drink my juice. I don't want it. Get yeah, out I, of my will, house. I will drink the juice. I mean, the I most sensible thing to me would be a casserole, but I don't, do they even have those? Like, do they make? I don't know. I don't know. Read on. Right. All right. Fish casserole. Oh. 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 Boy. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. What a uh, mullet fish casserole, I guess. <laughs> mm, oh, sound good. A little mustard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, so see, it's actually finishing the juice Yay. they've been offered. Yes, yeah. yes. That's, that's Bottoms weird. up. In Egypt, it's a well known fact that if you're offered juice in someone else's home, you'd better finish it, especially yeah. if the host has a daughter. <laughs> Why? <laughs> If you don't, it's believed that she'll remain unmarried. Luckily, finishing the juice shouldn't be hard. Egypt's most popular variety, sugarcane juice, is made of deliciously fresh local sugar. If she's and ugly, you might not want to drink water. all the juice. Yeah, well, she's already married. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Then what? Okay. On to the treats. What do we got? We're here. This green bag. This is Tiger. tiger. I'm so sad that Carol Baskin didn't dance to the Carol Baskin. Kuna has whacked it. Like, she should have. She's not going to dance to that. But she should have. She should have, but she ain't going to. She should have. Is she off the show yet? Eliminated her. Is she? Oh, do they? Ah. Poor Carol. It's actually, like, kind of sad. She's misunderstood. Okay. I'm changing my rating limit to. Okay. You ready? Tiger chili and lemon. <gasps> chili and lemon tiger chips. You've tried sour lemon candies, sweet lemon desserts, and tangy lemonade. Today, you'll be trying spicy lemons. The Egyptians are no... Sh- hey, Grandma. I'm reading. Sorry. All right. <laughs> Egyptians are no strangers to the far out flavor. Pickled lemons preserved in jars with salt and chilies date all the way back to the 12th century. Today, Egyptians add them to their favorite dishes for an unmatched umami flavor, or they'll eat the preserved slices on their own, rind and all. Is it rind or rind? Rind. Okay, like a pork rind. Got it. We think you'll enjoy the flavor most in these uniquely addictive chili lemon tater crisps. So you want a tater? Oh, it's just start here, but like I didn't do that, so I it's mean, fine. Oh well. That looks that looks so good. I it mean these look like good. this looks like ruffles. Look, yeah. it does. They have ridges. This is not Rona friendly, I don't think, but you know, whatever. Well It's fine. We're all right. Nobody's trying to feed it. Smells. It's odd. It's a weird it's, smell. Yeah. yeah. I'm anxious. I can't. You ready? It smells like yeah, something. Hey! Mm. Mm-hmm. Jimbo gave it a zero. Yeah. Jimbo did not like it. Well, oh, oh, no, no, no. It's different. Did it have bad it colors? Bad. I gave it a four. At least. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's bad. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's complicated. It's did, complex. The chili it is a flavor. complex flavor going on. Yeah. One of them? Yes. It's, uh, it, took, it took me like two. There's like taco seasoning in it or something. It's got an aftertaste. I mean, I like it. I'd eat mm. these. Mm-hmm. I would. Mm. Oh. What was that? Ooh, I Did bet it tastes good. She she was changing her rating system again. No more Carol Baskins? Uh. Geico lizards. Geico lizards. Yes. Geico lizards. Yes. 
Why? You got to a lizard. <laughs> you know how much trouble you cause me when you change. <laughs> I have to go through all that. I have to Photoshop. And I have to work these poor old fingers to the bone. <laughs> Just so you get to have your new... You're, you have to slave over a hot keyboard. I would mean, give it that. four. Yeah. You know. A three, a solid three. What do you say, some mama? A three. I give it a four. Ten and a half. Wait on nine. Ma, you're like out there. You're four. Out. A four. four. I already said four. Oh, you did? Okay. So I, I guess it's a four. A a it's like a three and, and a half to a four. And what did, what did you say? She said like two and a half. I like a nine and a half, probably. Oh, you're on your scale. Okay. No, I'll we'll do nine. Let's not do the halves. Nine and a half. <laughs> you know how hard it is for me to do the half when I have to half. I have to cut it in half. Use Pixar. Use Pixar. Just erase half I don't of it. Use that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, let's move on. All right. <laughs> That's right. You know, chop something in that <laughs> Get off the lawn. <laughs> All right. It's chocolate wave hazelnut. Chocolate. That sounds cool. Wave hazelnut. It's chocolate covered wafer. It? Yeah, wave. Okay. Okay. If you're, it. It's chocolate covered wafer with hazelnut cream. Good lord, that sounds good. That sounds good. Uh, okay. If you're visiting a friend's home in Egypt, you never arrive empty handed. Hospitality is a huge component of Egyptian culture, so it goes without saying, guests bring gifts. Germany is the same way. You have to bring a gift when you go to someone's house. Oops. That could be expensive, depending on I mean, they get, I mean, it could be like a plant or something. Like, it can be anything. Like, oh, Every nice. time you go to their house, you have to bring a gift. Yeah. Get them a lot. Mm -hmm. But it's not like you go to their house like every day. What if you do? Yeah. Or if you're like a tutor or something, you have to go over there every day. <laughs> I mean, I, I would guess if it's for like business reasons, though, maybe they don't do that. Okay. What kind of gifts do they drink? Well, most Egyptians don't drink alcohol in accordance with Islam, and flowers are reserved for somber occasions, which leaves one gift no one could ever turn down chocolate. So, since you were awesome enough to invite us into your home, we thought we'd do as the locals do and kick things off with well, chocolate. And let's be clear. Well, it's good. This isn't just any chocolate. This melts in your mouth Ooh. milk chocolate coated waver, complete with gooey hazelnut cream, might just be the best chocolate wafer we've ever tried. Go ahead and take a bite and kick this young fantastic Egypt adventure off right. Even though we kicked it off That's with That's a this. big thing. That is. No baby. You can't have it's chocolate. You can't have chocolate. It's a baby. Okay. Um one, two, three, four, five. Okay. One of us is I'll eat a half of one. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Can I have a whole one? Yes, you can. Who's gonna get the half one? Who's gonna get the half one? Me. Holla. You want yeah. the half? Uh, Cause you don't like Holla, sweets. We kinda yeah. take it easy on the on the sweets. Ready? Oh, wow. Mmm. Mmm. Num num num. That's a five. Ten. That is five. Mm -hmm. Ten. Um. It's a five. Mmm. <laughs> These look something we tried before. It kind of does, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm not sure what it was, but... It's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, it's good. Oh. I got People at home don't know what's going on. Oh, no. I, it said you to use the map to cover the answers, and it worked better than my hand. Yeah, we're over that now. Okay. All right. Oh, that's good. I don't know what I, I know. Shoot. <laughs> I'm sad it's gone. <laughs> We're, we're going to have to just move over there, I guess. We can get yeah. them. Y'all can keep Eat your mullet like fish. Egyptian. Yep. What are you thinking of mullet like fish? Egyptian. Fish with mullets. You can order this to, through the internet. Yeah, I'm sure, but it's, it's, yeah, the actual candy. I'm, I like yeah. $57. All right. What's the next one? Sakalons. 
Sacalons. Sacalons is what it looks like. It's this. I see coffee beans. What? I see coffee. I see coffee beans. Oh, I oh, see yeah. coffee. Not I see. Okay. It's wafer, hawawa, and coffee. Coffee beans. Egyptian hospitality is a two-way street. Guests supply the chocolate, hosts supply the coffee. You hardly have sat down in an Egyptian home before you're offered a cup. And it's considered a must to accept. Hey, y'all are talking while I read the questions. Yeah. Yeah. You can, you can take your pick of a super bitter brew, mildly sweet, medium sweet, or very sweet. Or if you're extra lucky, you can take it in the form of this sweet sesame paste filled wafer. And apparently the Arabic for cheers is fi sahitkum. <laughs> Probably butchered that. I probably did, but I tried. I tried. Oh Lord, that looks so good. That looks like them things. I'm sorry, it's taking some, these packages are bulletproof. We that, that looks like them things that we get here sometimes, like the Those vanilla like looking wafers. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like a vanilla I've got, wafers. Uh, I've got some. I want to do a chocolate. Yeah. Well, these, those, the ones that you got are like the nut or butters or whatever, but this is like those crispy ones. Those look good. They do this look good. for you all through. So I, I this better be coffee flavored or I'm going to be upset. Oh, I smell it. Mm. It's going to be big bad. No. Oh, she can't have that if she wants it. You ready? It smells big good. Ooh. Hey. Mmm. Oh, that's good. good. That's a five. Mm -hmm. I definitely five. Mm -hmm. Coffee flavor is real subtle. Oh yeah. Like but it's at there. first you like it don't taste anything. Yeah. The longer like, it's in your mouth. Yeah, it just kinda develops. Mm-hmm. That's so good. In the aftertaste. Mm -hmm. The aftertaste is really oh, good. Oh, it's like I just walked into a coffee shop. I know, I'm like... All okay. kinds of yeah. things are happening. Happy things. birthday, Paul. Yeah, oh, her yeah, dad's happy birthday. birthdays today. Okay. So she's gotta go help. So yeah, so funny. since she has to go help, I'm gonna make this quick, so y'all better not talk while I'm reading. Okay. okay. I, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm Duetto. Nice. Yes. Duetto. Duetto. Oh, the candy. <gasps> Biscuit cookie with date filling. Ooh, if you're looking for dates, the fruit kind, there's no better place than Egypt's Nile River Valley. For millennia, this especially fertile region has produced more dates than anywhere else in the world. Thousands of years ago, dates were pressed into wine. Today, they're used to make delectably crumbly cookies like this one. Grab a cookie, you've got a date with history. Yeah, these are... Those are small. That looks, that looks like a figment. Yeah, it's a great big old figment. <laughs> That's what, what it doing? looks like. Big it looks like a tastier big meat. You get two of them. That tastes There's a little cool. <gasps> big. So one's going to be split into three, and the other split into two. Oh, who's it's getting that big one? The big one. <laughs> what did I do? You I like... didn't do that right, did I? No. I think it was. <gasps> <laughs> no, I give up. Well, I guess math is gets... hard. <laughs> I, don't know why I, just I didn't know. I don't know. I wasn't thinking in my mind. It's already cut into two pieces. Okay, Jimbo. So I was cutting it like it was one big piece. Yeah. Well, yeah, look at that. It's like a hold on. It looks like chocolate in this. Maybe focusing maybe. on her. Focus on the candy bar. Oh. There we go. You're not supposed to eat. Okay. Um, so I think that she can have one, yeah, but I don't think she's gonna eat it. So let's really? like let's save it for us. Okay, ready to go. Mmm, this is good. It's like a crispy the pig Newton. Yeah, that's good. That's a mm. five. That mm -hmm. is a five. Mm. That's a mini pop tart right there. It is mini pop tart. It's like a mini pop tart so pig good. Newton. Mm -hmm. In the mm -hmm. middle of it tastes just like a fig Newton. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's not as sweet and sweet. Yeah, but it's like a, if you take a fig Newton and make it crispy. Yeah. Go yeah. Your blueberry pop like crumbly. We were yeah, it's kind of crumbly. It's so good. It, dip that thing in coffee and it'll be good. Okay. Kona Puffs Crazy Tomato. 
I like tomatoes. It's tomato corn puffs. Unlike dates, tomato. tomatoes were only introduced to the Middle East 200 years ago. Yet today, the Egypt is the fifth largest tomato producer in the world. <clears throat> How they do it? The answer takes us to a city Where called so <laughs> the city <laughs> called Tenth of Ramadan, where cutting-edge greenhouse technology has turned 2,500 acres of desert into a fertile farmland. The greenhouses produce an abundance tomatoes and use 40% less of Egypt's scarce water supply process. Now, not only can Egyptians enjoy fresh tomatoes practically all year round, but they form the base of deliciously addictive tomato snacks like these. <clears throat> okay. Cheetos. So, let's get some tomato Cheetos. Oh, wow. It smells good. Yeah! It's yeah, it like... it smells good. It smells like a... The pizza sauce or something. Yeah. Ready? Mm. That tastes like a spaghetti. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what it tastes like. I did. Well, that's because we ate that. Oh, yeah. We've been eating sweets, and all of a sudden we get the savory, and it's. You got to get past it. Yeah, I swear. It tastes like I'm eating a super crunchy spaghetti. Isn't that weird? But it tastes good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That. Oh, did you get used to it's it like now? Spaghetti yeah. Cheeto. Yeah, I know the one. That's wild. That, that's wild, yeah. Next time you eat a oh, Cheeto, just aftertaste. think of spaghetti the, the taste of the spaghetti. And that's exactly what that tastes like. But not bad. It's not. It's, it's good. Like mm-hmm. Okay. All right, pretzels. Pretzels. Pretzel. Pretzel. Original butter and herbs. Um, the papyrus Ebers. A 110-page Egyptian medicine scroll dating all the way back to 1550 BC contains some of the world's oldest herbal remedies. For example, coriander was used for indigestion and cumin. Cumin? Ah, whatever. They're in cumin's deal. But it was prescribed yeah. for bodily aches and pains. But if it's a uh, growling stomach you're suffering from, you'll probably need a much more modern remedy. We think these buttery herb dusted pretzels are just what the doctor ordered. They are. It's like they're coated with like a powder. Yeah, there's some kind of a funky powder on them. Oh. Strange. Strange. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Good though. Hey, I like that. Mama didn't like it. Oh no, it's got a. Uh, Isn't it like a garlic? Don't you get like a? Yeah, that's what it's I. Spicy, you know, it's kind of. I don't know. That's like the, what I think. But um, we need those in the U.S. Yeah. Yeah. Five. Maybe five. What? Ten. 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 <laughs> those are good. This must be the last thing. Yeah. Spaghettis apple. Spaghetti. 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 Gummy green apple strips. Now we're going back to sweets. So Who let's. Who touched my spaghetti? <laughs> Who touched my spaghetti? <laughs> um, sure, the ancient Egyptians may have invented eye makeup, toothpaste, bowling, and the first prosthetic limb. The first prosthetic limb was a toe, apparently. A toe. But here's one thing they could never have dreamt up: a stringy green apple gummy. It's not just because green apples were first grown in Australia in 1868. These addictively juicy gummies are made by Egypt Foods Group, a local company that only opened its doors in 2000. Mm. <clears throat> That's apple. Jimbo loves those. Yeah, she likes all that savory stuff. Like, she is... That last pretzel. Oh, she loved Jim the pretzel. Loved yeah, it. she likes the pretzels. Jesus, I gave it a 10. Yeah, you hey, can, I can feel these. Is there enough for everybody? You can just give me a little piece. That's okay. That looks good. Spaghetti. Like Who touched on my spaghetti? Oh, easy. easy. So one just of these. Give me a little. Just a little. Piece. You want a long one? You want the little one? Yeah. Okay. Can I get some? You want to touch my spaghetti? I smell the apple. Yeah. <clears throat> we ready? Yeah. Yes. 
good. That's good. Now we look at apple juice. That's a good, mighty good spaghetti. That's good. That is good. I like that. Because it's not blow your head back kind of oh, sour. This is good. Mm -hmm. I like that. Five. That's a five. Mm -hmm. Ten. Ten. It's not mine. mine. Is it yours? I think I it's, it sounded like mine. I don't even know where it is. I don't know. I told yeah. you, ten, ten fish eyes. Ten fish eyes. <laughs> Anyhow, that's it for this one. Hope y'all enjoyed it. <laughs> She's got to get to her dad's birthday party. We've got to yeah. cut this off here. Appreciate you tuning in. Hope everybody's still doing all right with all this. COVID and election madness. Yeah. It's madness, alright. It really is. Mm -hmm. uh, this, I am this so looking forward to 2021. Uh, it's 2020. You said this is madness. <laughs> this is Sparta. Do you not know this? Oh. Are you not entertained? <laughs> 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 Anyhow, I hope y'all doing good. Joe Biden. We'll Joe what about Biden. Joe Biden? <laughs> Just <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And on that note, <laughs> we'll Bye. see y'all later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>